ground baits, pellets, wafters, liquids, dyes. There's all sorts of things in the bait world that can blow your mind. I'm here to get rid of those myths and tell you the facts and explain all about some bait. I'm going to talk to you about the So Natural range of ground baits now. The So Natural range is part of Sonu Baits and it's basically a non-fish meal range of ground baits that's designed for fishing on natural venues such as rivers, canals, lakes, big reservoirs, etc. So they've been massively popular and a lot of people have found them a real favourite. However, they haven't got the tradition behind them that probably lets you understand what and when you need to use them. So because I've been using these ground baits for a long time now, probably five or six years at least, I can tell you a little bit about when and why I use them. A lot of people that have started using them or have used them have had amazing results. I've got a couple of really good mates of mine who absolutely swear by a couple of these. So I just want to talk to you about why and when you can use them. So looking at how it came about, first of all, we started with four ground baits. There's the river, the bream, the lake, and the black ground bait, okay? They were the four original ground baits, and each one does a specific job. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use the river ground bait on a river or the lake on a lake, but if I tell you a little bit about the characteristics, you'll understand why we called them that. So, the river ground bait. Now, this has got a lot of finely ground, high quality bread, hemp seed, and sort of cornmeal within it. It's a lovely ground bait. It's not particularly coarse, which I really like. I don't really like overly coarse ground baits. I like to be able to control my feed. If I want to add feed into a ground bait, I can add live baits, I can add crushed hemp, I can add hemp itself or corn, but I like to control the mix that I've got. And that's how these mixes came about, because they've got a really nice, even consistency. Incredibly high quality, to be honest. Now, this has got a lot of sugars in it as well in the river ground bait, which effectively makes the ground bait sticky. So when you mix it up, you get a really rich bread, hempy smell, and the sugars within there also help it bind. Now, because it binds quite nicely, we felt it was appropriate for rivers and it worked really well on rivers. I call this my sort of bulk mix. So wherever I go on a natural venue, I always use the river as the bulk of my mix because it's got key ingredients in there that every fish eats. That takes us on to the bream ground bait. Now the bream ground bait is designed for bream fishing. So there's bread in there, there's crushed cornmeal in there, there's sugars in there again, a very nice mix. And it actually becomes quite sticky. When you mix this mix, in the first place, it's a nice consistency. And then over time, as the sugars release, effectively the mix becomes really sticky. So if ever I'm gonna go anywhere where I know I need a nice sticky ground bait, maybe boiling it in on a pole or something like that, this is a must have addition to my mix. River and bream together is probably my perfect big river mix. And when I used to go to places like the Yare yeah and places like that, those two together was always the combination I went for. Now, River and bream are actually quite inactive ground baits. They don't like pop and fizz and things like that, which is a brilliant thing to have in ground bait because it helps you concentrate bigger fish. However, there is always a time when you want some activity and that's where the lake came about. So lake's got a lot of coriander in it, which is very active. It's got crushed hemp in it. It's slightly coarser actually in particle size, which means that when it's down on the bottom, it pimps and fizzes and all sorts come off. When we did the tank test, it was amazing how active this ground bait was. So if I wanted to make my ground bait more active, and it's a particular for roach, if I really want to catch roach with maggots and pinkies and casters, I want an active ground bait to do that. So lake and river together is a brilliant combination. And that's how I use these. River tends to be my base, and then I add and mix the ground baits as I go. Now, the black ground bait was always very interesting, and this was done for really hard sort of winter-type fishing. It's very, very fine bread and hemp-based, 
and it's got a very spicy smell to it. A very traditional roachy winter type ground bait. And it's been popular and a lot of people swear by it. And I used to use it to darken any of these mixes. So if I wanted to make river bream or lake dark, I would add some of the black ground bait in and that would darken them off. Now, as time's gone on and people are using these ground baits so much, we realized we needed black versions, effectively dark versions of these really popular ground baits. So we've got black river, black lake and black bream. And all we've done to do that is the bread is dark. So the dye is in there, it's all mixed within the ground bait. So when you mix it up, it holds its color really well because it's all set into the ingredients that are in there. This black bream, I've got a very high profile friend who absolutely loves this ground bait. He swears by it and he qualified for every major natural final last year. And that was the ground bait he used. So he obviously knows what he's talking about when it comes to a good ground bait because he's winning loads. I definitely like it. I always take Black River to Ireland. Ireland, the water's very clear. So I use Black River as the base of my mix there. And I use the Black Roach to mix with it. Now, Black Roach came about because we started doing the crushed hemp. And the crushed hemp is a brilliant addition to ground bait. If you want to make your ground bait active, if you want to give it that boost of hemp, that coarser hemp, crushed hemp is fantastic. And the black roach effectively came about because we wanted a really hempy ground bait. It's got a lot of the black river in it and the crushed hemp and some other ingredients that are a little bit coarser in there to basically give you a really big water roach mix that's dark. It's a real go-to ground bait that I've been using. You can see here that our So Natural range covers you for all your natural water fishing. So if you're going out there, you've got a very simple range of your ground baits that work incredibly well. Use that guide to give yourself a chance of catching more fish when you go on your natural venue.